Can't say any better than that. Good afternoon. Happy Thanksgiving, Maryland. 9579. Is that right? Yeah, 9579. Wow, that's a lot of points, guys. Mason, Jack, what do you make of this team that just scores at will lately? Yeah, it's not pretty, um, but they're getting it done. They're putting up big numbers. They're playing that pace that Willard has wanted to since he got the job. They're putting up a lot of threes. Uh, we only got really got one big man, but uh, Julian Reese did a lot of damage today, Jack. Yeah, and as Mason said, they're putting up a lot of threes, but it seems at home they haven't been able to hit a bunch of them. They went four for 21 today. When they were in Connecticut, they were able to knock down some shots, but they've been able to find ways to get consistent offense. Three 20-point scores today. Shamir Young, Julian Reese, and Akeem Hart all came up big, and their defensive pressure today was, was amazing, especially in that second half. Created a lot of offense. Yeah, things got a little bit dicey in the second half. Wayne, you had a better view of it. Uh, Tony Skin and I guess Grant Billmeyer were ejected from the game on a Class B technical foul. But... Yeah, guys. By the way, this is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. It's Mason Viner, Jack Rothenberg. I'm still not sure what a Class B technical is. Back in my day, if you threw two guys out, it's at least four free throws. There were no free throws. Jack, you looked it up during the game. What is a Class B? Yeah, Class B is identified as a person fake flopping, like a player. So I'm not really sure how that pertained to Maryland's bench. I guess they overreacted a little bit too much based on what happened on the court. But hopefully we'll get some clarification in the press conference. Guys, can you play at this pace? With this kind of defensive pressure, without any bigs in the Big Ten, I mean, it's worked so far this year. Uh, I'm going to go with probably not. I mean, Kofi Coburn's gone. Uh, a lot of those guys are, but Purdue, we know they're going to have some big men. Illinois is probably going to have some good bigs. And, uh, Hunter Dickinson in Michigan is, is, is about as good as it gets in college. So I guess Swantham Rogers is going to have to step up. They're going to have to find somebody else that can play inside. And um, right now that's kind of unclear as who it's going to be. With Viner Forgates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Forgates, for making your company work is our primary mission. Hi, I'm Merlin wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. I think it's possible that they can only if they're able to shoot from three, not like they have been at home. So if they're able to knock down a bunch of threes, I don't think the big man issue is going to be as big of an issue as we thought it was going to be. But they got to knock down threes consistently or it's going to become an issue. All right, so we've got two press conferences we want to see tonight. One is the Dixon press conference. Actually, he's immediately to our right talking to some of the Maryland fans. And, of course, the Willard press over here. Uh, this drives the record uh, is one of the few still unbeaten teams out there. I was impressed by what they did in Connecticut. Basically, they really they did better in Connecticut against St. Louis and Miami, two teams that made the NCAA tournament last year. Coppin State seemed to stay with them for a while here, but of course, the Maryland talent won out. For, uh, for our close here, before we go to the presser, what would you guys think of Coppin State tonight? Yeah, they really got up and down, played a physical game, and um, I think they're going to find themselves on top of their conference last year. They felt just short of the tournament. Yeah, and they have transferred from Penn State, Sam Sessom. He's averaging over 20 points per game. I think he put up 25 somewhere out there tonight. He looks great. I think Coppin State can really go places, but Sessom is going to be a big part of that. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Terps get to 95. I still have to check the scoreboard to believe it. But boy, they can score. Might not always be pretty, but it's highly effective. That'll wrap it up from Xfinity Center for us. Check us out after Rutgers comes to CQ Stadium tomorrow. I'm Wayne. That's Mason. That's Jack. Thanks for watching the Big Dog Post Game Show.